I'm pleased to sign into law the Childhood Cancer Survivorship Treatment Access and Research Act of 2018. It's a big deal, very important. The people up here have helped us so much. I want to thank Secretary Azar for being here, along with the members of Congress who are here with us, including Senators Shelley Moore Capito. Thank you, Shelley, thank you. very much. Dean Heller, who I hear is doing very well. Right, Dean? You better do well, right, Dean? <laughs> Representatives Mike Kelly, Michael McCall. Thanks. Thank you, Michael. Sure, thank you. Great job you're doing. And Michael Burgess. Thank you, Michael. Yes, sir. Thank you, Michael. More than 15,000 children are diagnosed with cancer each year. Tragically, cancer is the leading cause of death by disease among American children and adolescents. So we have some wonderful stories of success with us today, most importantly. This vital legislation will expand opportunities for childhood cancer research, enhance the quality of life for childhood cancer survivors, and increase pediatric expertise at the National Institute of Health. Very big deal. Very important to everybody here, and really very important to the country. With us are some of the very brave children who are currently battling cancer and doing really well. Olivia Eggy is here with her family. Olivia, congratulations on you. You're doing fantastically well, right? Yes. Good. Thank Proud you. of you. And uh, Olivia's uh, been a tremendous story of inspiration and that fighting spirit. It's a rare bone cancer. And we are uh, very much impressed with your strength and thankful that you're recovering so well. I'm hearing great reports. So Thank good. You. Good, honey. Jake Cuniff is also here. Jake is a sarcoma survivor, and he's helped lead the effort to see this bill become law. Jake, come here, Jake. Look at that tie, Mr. President. I like that tie. <laughs> That's good. Sharp-looking guy, I'll tell you. Thank you. Good job, Jake. I also want to uh, give you a little special, because I know how hard you work on it. You've really been working on it individually. As a young guy, you have other things you could be doing, right? But you've really done a great job, Jake. I want to thank you. I also want to commend Sadie Keller for her leadership of the bill and for helping to really work hard. And uh, fellow childhood cancer survivors are very, very thrilled with the job you've done. Uh, and you're feeling good. I hear you're doing great, right? Good, sir. Thank you very much. So, Olivia, Jake, and Sadie, we're taking this action today in honor of the work you've done and the hard work, and it has been, in fact, hard. And you're really uh, helping to positively affect lives in America, especially of young people. We're going to be right there with you every step of the way. All of these incredible representatives, senators, and congresspeople, you've been reading about people like this, right? Someday you'll be there. Maybe you'll be sitting right here. I don't know if you want to do that. <laughs> you're better off doing what they do. But we just want to thank all of you for being here. We want to congratulate you on doing so well in getting better, and uh, you have helped a lot of people. So thank you very much. Thank you all. Thanks, Jay. Thank you very much, John. Okay. Uh, do you have anything to say, Shelley? Well, I'm just uh, admiring of the strength of uh, these young, young people, but their families as well. As we know, uh, families are affected. And this, isn't, this is about trying to find a cure, but it's also about survivorship and how you live your life and how, uh, after you've had treatment, you can go on to have healthy and very um, um, productive lives. And so for me, as a, as a mother and a grandmother, and for my Cancer Crusade kids from West Virginia, thank you. Thank you, uh, thank Mr. President. Thank you, man. You're doing a great job, and we appreciate it. You really do a fantastic job. Appreciate that. Thank, thank you. you very much, Shelley. Mike? Yes, Mr. President. I, I just think there's, there's nothing more, more precious to us than our children. And whenever one child's sick, we're all feeling the same way, and we want to do everything we can to help out. I know with uh, Mike McCall and I have been working very hard on cancer. I, I will mention that the Hyundai Hope on Wheels, right. we, this, is our, this is our 20th anniversary. We will exceed $140 million wow. this year in the fight against pediatric cancer. And we're seeing so many more children survive. It, it just does your heart well it's to see amazing. these young Americans succeed. Statistically, it's been incredible to see what's happened. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Shelley. Michael McCall? Thank you, Mr. President. Um, this is the most comprehensive childhood cancer bill ever passed by the United States Congress. And it would have been possible if we didn't have the advocates strongly behind us, you know, like St. Baldrick's. Um, the, but the children are the best advocates. It took us three years to get there, Mr. President. But, you know, 
They can say no to you or me, but I bring in little Sadie into the office. They can't say no to her and these other survivors. Um, this will help. It's, you know, survivorship, treatment, access, and research. And it's going to really move the, the cause and the movement uh, forward in the right direction. Well, so thank, thank you for Thank you for the great this. job you do. Thank you. Dean Heller. Mr. President, on behalf of thousands of, of uh, childhood cancer survivors uh, in Nevada, uh, I'm here to thank you for your work and your effort. This doesn't happen uh, without your leadership. And I want to thank these kids also for being advocates as they are and uh, getting us to where we are today. Thank you very much for your thank hard you. work. You bet. Thank you very much. My friend, come yes, sir. say a few words. You've been working so hard on this. Well, uh, Sadie came in to see me, I think, a Congress ago. And uh, it was clear that uh, she was pretty dedicated to this. At the time, she looked a little different because she was at a different place in her, in her treatment. Uh, but as Michael said, she's the, uh, she's the best ambassador. And I think this builds on the work we did in 21st Century Cures and quite honestly, the work you did last week with Right to Try. All, All right. of this works together and it's for the betterment of American patients. You can't ask for more than that. Thank you very much, great job. And Right to Try is something we're very excited about where for years, and nobody knows why it was so tough to pass, I never, could understand it, but it was a very tough one to get past. And now people can stay, and we have drugs that are really, and treatments that are really advanced, but they won't be approved for another three, four, five years. And now if somebody's in very bad shape, we can use them, and they're not going to be going to other countries to try and get a cure. And it's really hope, but not only is it hope, a lot of people are going to be helped by this. So the right to try, as difficult as that was to get approved and passed, and now we're signed, uh, we're very proud of that one. Secretary Azar, would you like to say something? Well, Mr. President, uh, we just want to thank Olivia, Sadie, Jake, and, uh, and frankly, their parents, and the Danielle and others here who, who lost children uh, to this battle against pediatric cancer. This legislation is going to be a material change in our ability to do research and to help kids survive cancer and survive cancer longer. That's so correct. thank you for signing it today. That's really great. Thank you very much. You maybe want to say something because you've been so instrumental. That's right, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> would, would you like to say something? Huh? Thank you. <laughs> Everybody should be just like that. You'd be a great politician. Would you like to say something, darling? Um, I'm just so honored to be here, and this is just such an amazing opportunity, and just thank you. <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. You're very nice. So nice. Um, yeah, just like Sadie, it's so amazing to be here. I woke up this morning having no idea I was coming here today. So this was a really cool turn of events. And I'm just so grateful that this bill has been passed. Thank you very much, Great. <laughs> Glad you're so much better. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, same thing as Olivia. I'm just grateful that this bill can be ha passed to help um, future um, cancer patients and cancer patients now. Well, thank you very much. Would anyone like to say something here? Parents and representatives, anybody? If I may, Mr. Yes, President, I, uh, I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank the leaders in Congress that are here that sponsored this bill. I can tell you as a father, hearing that the treatment for my daughter is 40 years old, we had to go to another country to get a treatment. Hmm. Um, the, the, the fact that there is a focus on, on survivorship, on, on cures, is absolutely critical because it's, a, it's not a good place um, if we don't do and commit the funds and the effort to, to save children's lives. So I, I thank you. Yeah, we've made a lot of advancements really in the last, uh, you know, we're 500 days now, Shelley. Can you believe it? Five, but we've done a lot of, a lot of improvements, a lot of speed, too. We're, uh, we're getting it done quickly. That's where Right to Try is so good, where we can give things that are so promising, but they won't be approved for another three or four years. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Anybody? Would you like to say something? I just want to thank you for passing this bill. I um, have seen firsthand how awful it is to watch, you know, my own child go through this. But we've also had, um, you know, many, many relationships of different childhood cancer fighters, and some have um, are survivors now, and some have passed away. And you know, these things matter so much, and so we're just so grateful. Thank you very much. We're so grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll sign it. You ready? Are we all ready? <laughs> we're all set? Yeah. We're a big deal now. Okay, thank you.
You ever see a zebra show like that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, whose pen is this? That's for you? Thank you. That's for you? Mm -hmm. That's for you? Thank you. That's for you? Thank you. We've given you a few of them. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. Come on. Oh, thank Here you. Go. Here, Mike. Thank you, Mr. President. You deserve it. Thank you, Fox. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay. Oops, Mom. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Dean? Thank you, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Great job. Here you go, Mr. Thanks. Secretary. Hey, thanks to Ivanka, too, for oh, uh, yes. helping us with this. She's been great. Ivanka, if I, if I have a daughter, a really terrific person. She's worked very hard on this one. She this is. was very important. That's for the press. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> A lot of uh, relationship uh, being built, a lot of negotiation going on even before the trip. But it looks like it's uh, coming along fine. We'll see what happens. But uh, very important. It'll be a very important couple of days. Thank you very much. Thank you.